infection is reported in mother okay so if the adverse drug reaction is reported in mother and the adverse reaction is spontaneous abortion or elective termination not related to fetal malformation okay you only know that uh, the mother suffered from abortion or elective termination and uh, the fetal did not have the fetus does not have any malformation then you will make only a mother case because abortion or termination is not an ae in the fetus you don't consider it as a fetus ae you make it as a mother ae okay now uh, adverse reaction in mother plus fetal death without information on malformation you know that the mother experienced adverse reaction plus the fetus died okay but we don't know if it was there was any malformation anything now in that case you will make one case for mother okay that's it because uh we don't know whether the fetal had any adverse reaction or anything so we just make one case of mother because the, we know that the mother experienced an ae okay that's it fetus defects if we know that the fetus experienced anything then we make two cases one case of mother and one case of fetus and the cases are linked because the mother also experienced an ae and the fetus also experienced an ae birth defects or adr in child now if we know that uh, the patient the baby has any birth defects or the baby has any ae not just defects but you know any other kind of ae then also we make two cases and if we know that there is no ae adr in child then we make one case of mother so basically if the mother is experiencing any ae you have to make a mother case if the child is experiencing an ae you have to make a child case also and link both the cases okay uh the second situation is when there is no adr in mother if there is no adr in mother but the mother experiences any abortion or elective termination you will make a mother case if uh there is fetal death without information on malformation again you will make the mother case if you have fetus with defects but the mother did not experience anything you will make one case of child because there's no point making the case of a child of mother you will just make a child case and you will make drug exposure in utero as your event birth defects or adr in child again a child case there is no mother case because the mother did not experience anything and no adr in child is uh, you will make a mother case of drug exposure in pregnancy and if you have multiple fetuses then you will make one case for every fetus okay. so guys that was it for pregnancy um, you can start processing your cases now for people who have not uh or who have already processed pregnancy case the one that i sent you can process the aspr uh that has been sent to them okay do you have any questions just ask me uh, so this article which uh, is a pregnancy case so mother is not experiencing adverse event but there was a elective abortion and uh, there were fetal deformity so it's like fetus um, was affected so in this case like i would assume will case will make two cases yes because as i said abortion is not considered an event in the child you will have to make a spontaneous abortion or whatever abortion if it was an elective termination case for the mother and then whatever fetus experienced you have to make a fetus case for that